All right, we are going to now open up the hot seat, bring some of you up here, and let you know if your idea is good or bad. We'll try to obviously improve on it, and we'll point out what we think is good and, good and bad about it. Why don't you state your name for the camera? I'm Terry Ballish. Let's see, is that on? Let me see, make sure. Oh, it is on. All right. And give us an idea of what your idea is all about. Um, well, what my idea is, is there's a lot of people um, starting up businesses and really not knowing what to do with bookkeeping. And since I have bookkeeping background, I'm thinking, you know, there's a market that I could, you were talking about going in narrow and then making all these products. And I can see like about 50 products that you could make to teach somebody how to do different things as, as contractors, job costing, um, financial statements, you know, just kind of be the, if I could make it funny, that would be even better. Do some <laughs> videos that are funny, like, do you know what a debit and a credit is? Well, this is a debit and this is a credit. I have a tomato and a cucumber or something. But, <laughs> you know, just some quick stuff that would get their peak, their interest, that would be free, and and then go in and, and teach them something about accounting or QuickBooks or that they need. And so I, I've gone on link, LinkedIn, is that how you call it? Mm -hmm. And asked the question, I put up the question, what, what do you, would this be helpful? What, what do you need? So I'm anticipating a response to that question. And then I'm going to kind of go from there. My, my question, I guess, is, I, I don't, you know, I, I, I've got a name, you know, what I'm, what I want to do. But where do I start? You know, do I start at the very beginning of accounting? Do I start in the middle of accounting? I guess I, they answer that question for me when I do the survey, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're in the middle of, of research right now. Right. You already know what you want to do, and now you're researching to find out what they want. <laughs> um, so in the meanwhile, while you're, you're waiting for your responses, um, you need to be following what I taught you to do in the product creation stuff, I, I mean in the, uh, the niche research stuff, you need to be going and seeing if there are any products that would be similar to your product and what they offer and then listing out what they're offering and then list out how you can differentiate yourself from that. Um, it's all part of that RD to the third power mm -hmm. research research <laughs> rip off, rip off, duplicate, differentiate, and dominate. There's pretty much not much out there. There's not much out there. Um, on, There's on a lot. What I, I mean, I just did some investigating this, you know, last night, and the, most of the stuff that's out there is like how-to books. But there's not anything that's like a package deal that would tell you in a video format or something like that would be easy for an, an executive to sit down and say, or not an executive, but like, like. Um, Somebody who's just starting a, a construction company, for instance, mm -hmm. you know, they need to know how to put up a chart of accounts, and they don't want to pay an accountant to tell them what to do with a chart of accounts. So then you would kind of explain to them what you know. You get the drift. Do you have any certifications? No, I need them. Okay, then there you might run into some. some I'm just warning you. I'm not a lawyer. Don't listen to my information. You know that's why I call it bookkeeping, not accounting. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, if you can show them, you know how to do bookkeeping for their business. Like you know me, I'm just now after five years of running my business, having someone to do the bookkeeping for me. I used to just take them and throw them in a in a box and awesome. take them to not blockbuster but what's the i call them blockbuster h&r block. H &R block yeah <laughs> <laughs> they, they bust me when i go there so i take them in a box and just go plunk and they're well, like see, what's that I have now no see idea. if you if you sign on to my little program you wouldn't have to do that because i'd have you all organized and ready to go yeah and that's what i need I'm I'm one of your I'm, I'm part of <laughs> potential clients. Yeah, to, totally. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I just throw them in the box, and hopefully Jamie, my husband, will take them to to Blockbuster, and <laughs> 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 and uh, they'll they'll file my taxes. Hopefully, you know that because I'm so scared of that whole thing. Um, how many of you guys would like to know how to do bookkeeping for your business? Anybody in here? Wow, is that a hot market? It looks like. 75% of this whole room. Mm -hmm. 
So now is what you need to do is you need to decide what's your first niche to go in with this. Yeah, you mentioned construction, but then also small business. So it's yeah, two well, different I have worlds. experience. I have experience with construction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I would start where you have your strengths. Definitely where you have your strengths. Um, have you ever set up anybody with a bookkeeping system? I have five clients. I have a bookkeeping service right now, oh. and I have five clients that that I work on. So I have like, I have like. Um, like I have, a, I have a, like schedules. Like I could help you do like your payroll, your 941s, your, you know, unemployment taxes and all that kind of stuff. And okay, so is what you need. Then you're at the the outlining stage. You're at the stage where you already know what you need to teach people. So now you need to outline. Okay, step one would be you need a bookkeeping system. Here's all the ones that are available. Here's the one that I recommend. Now, step two, let's get you started with your bookkeeping system. Step right. three is how to organize accounts. Step four, and then you go and you go back to step one, you create your videos for that. Step two, create your videos for that. And then once you get all that done, you create a sales page, a download page, you put it for sale. Yeah. That's how close you are. I am that, close. Yes, you're very close. <laughs> no. From what I see right here, when everybody raised their hand and said, I'm interested in bookkeeping, I don't know the people who have But see, the businesses. thing is, how do I find those people that are interested in bookkeeping? Because it is like the sorus. Nobody wants to address bookkeeping. It's like the pimple. You yeah. Know? You want to hide it. And a, another caveat that you might face is a lot of people don't buy what they need. They buy what they want in the internet marketing market, well, the internet marketing niche. Most, I mean, how many of you, like I, I gave the example of how many of you guys in here can build a website and a few people raise their hand. I can't sell a how to build a website product to my list. If I put that out there, it'd be hardly anybody buying. It's because it's something they need, not something they want. So that would be your only caveat there. What do you have to add? Yeah, I would say that, uh, and we had talked a little bit off camera um, about this, and I call that a secondary product. It's something that people need. They think of that after they already have their business up and going, usually a lot quicker than five years. <laughs> but it, it's something that they, they worry about later. The mass, peop, mass market that's in internet marketing, they want to make money now. They don't even want to worry about back-end marketing. Even though it can make them 10 times the amount of money, they just want that first sale. That's all they care about. So you would not be hitting the internet marketing world. Those people aren't interested in yours. You're looking for the people that are on Google that are already searching bookkeeping, how to set up books. You know, People that are in that buying mode that buying they've already made the buying decision because they're searching for those keywords that are uh, that uh, it was is going to solve their problem right there yeah and, so pay-per-click might be a, a good thing for her to, to study then. yeah pay-per-click or sites that are already you do a search on Google and you find uh, using keywords how to set up books uh, but you know best bookkeeping principles things like that Find those sites, yeah, and then do your own ads, or Google ads, or using the banner ads through Google program on those sites that already have Google AdSense. You'd also mention uh, no ClickBank digital products, right, in bookkeeping? No ClickBank. Because I think that's the problem. People realize it's a secondary. Mm -hmm. It might still maybe work because there could be some people that own websites that have the, uh, um, you know, that type of market. But you mentioned a ton of real-world books on Amazon. Um, dummy type books mm -hmm. go in there uh, see if you can see the uh, the chapters yeah and uh, that could be your videos I mean they've yeah. they'll give you all the ideas for your yeah. videos yeah they've done the research to know what people need and what they want they've tested it and yeah that's uh, your videos yeah, and I will totally disagree with Jeff on the whole Clickbank thing because so many people are going outside of the internet marketing niche now that niche affiliate marketers, as they're calling themselves now, are struggling to find good niche products. And that's a huge demand that's not being met on ClickBank is there's not enough good niche products. for Because an affiliate marketer, <clears throat> a good affiliate marketer, if they know how to sell a product, they can sell it in any niche because they know how to get the traffic there if you, if you can actually make money in that niche. okay? If, if you create a product that somebody can put in front of traffic that's known to be buyers, then they can do it in any niche. And that's what I teach my people with affiliate marketing. I don't teach them to go and promote internet marketing products. 
I teach them to promote products outside of that niche. And one of the big issues that's even being talked about on forums and within my client groups is there's no good niche products on ClickBank. What do I do? And everybody's wanting the ClickBank products because they don't have to worry about who's paying them and stuff like that. And you're in a niche outside of internet marketing, so you're not going to have to worry about the refunds and everything of ClickBank. I would so create that product and put it on ClickBank. Um, would you would you do mostly video or ebook or video video because it's easier for them to mm -hmm. get it and and then I have another question on the videos what what is a the time limit I mean for a video I mean is there like a certain amount of time I've heard a lot of people say well there's 29 videos at an hour a piece I'm never gonna sit down for 29 hours and watch the videos but obviously you're gonna with bookkeeping, you're going to have to watch it for a little bit. Uh, how do you, how do you determine that that their their attention span? Well, from from the feedback that I've gotten from my people, I used to have like 30 minute to an hour videos. My people are like Liz, <laughs> please for the love of God. Um, so I try not to go over a 15 minute video now. Chunk. 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 Yep. Chunks at a time. And, and, and Jeff, you know, like with the, the coaching that we're doing for our people, he'll say, well, how long is that video going to be? I don't know. It's a little chunk I'm going to give them. It's not going to be over 15, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. <laughs> as I've proven all weekend here. Uh, <laughs> the way I teach, it's just so ingrained to me to keep it in chunks. And to be a successful teacher, I feel like you have to master that. So make sure that because it's what you're going to be mm -hmm. a teacher. Um, so you have to give it to them in little bite-sized chunks. Um, but give them complete chunks when they step down for when they sit down and watch step one video Make sure that you can put everything in that video that they need to know in the shortest amount of time Any other questions I, I'm set man. I'm you ready. are you're, you're I'm ready to go. You're this close. I'm yeah, you're this I'm, close. It's exciting. All yeah, right, let's give her a big round of applause All right, our next person up. Which one of you are going to go? Let's see. Pull this over a bit. All right, go ahead and state your name. And if you've got a website, let people know what it is. Uh, my name is George Harkle, and uh, I'm from uh, East Point, Michigan. And uh, my website is uh, cbc.rovia.com. Um, I'm involved with, I'm a travel consultant uh, for this company. And uh, I plan on to uh, uh, put up a squeeze page and uh, drive traffic to, uh, uh, to my page, squeeze page, to promote uh, my list and, and customers, of course. And your target market is? Uh, my target market would be... Um, uh, I guess anybody that's interested in travel, um, youngsters that want to go to spring break, or uh, I imagine probably would be, at first would probably be domestic. I was and, just going to ask you that. And then all, it's also, if they want world travel, we have that also. So uh, any place they want to go in the world, uh, they'd be able to uh, come to my website and click on uh, the website. And uh, we also have uh, what they call live chat. Uh, when you click on to the website, you can just uh, click on live chat and you'll be speaking to a live person. Uh, and uh, if you need uh, reservations made by phone, uh, they'll even do it over the phone uh, to accommodate the customers. Mm -hmm. And this is a, you're a representative of the company, so you, you get your own like website that is tied into the main company, so it's like yes. a, almost like an affiliate yes. type deal? Yes, Any idea what your average uh, uh, profit is per person that comes in, that purchases? I'm just trying to get an idea of how much money can be made, because that will affect on possibly how you can advertise and what you can do. Mm-hmm. 